Hi everybody, it's me Jen. I'm back with a new video. Something you probably didn't ask for for Christmas, but you're getting anyway. <laughs> Today I'm going to be showing you how I achieved this red cut crease look. Kind of fitting, seeing as how RuPaul's Drag Race All Stars 3 starts January 25th. If you'd like to see how I achieved this look, keep on watching. So I already have my moisturizer and primer on and I've let them sit, they're nice and soaked into my skin. So now what I'm going to do is take my e.l.f. moisturizing foundation stick in the color ivory. I don't think you can get this anymore. I don't know why, I really like it. I use this stick for years. So I just take this, cover my sideburns, my mustache, my neck, and a little bit on my chin. And just, you know, spots where I can see my beard poking through because I have blue undertones in my beard as most guys do. I'm just going to take a regular, um, triangle sponge and just use that to kind of blend this out. It doesn't have to be perfect because it's going to go underneath the foundation. I use a triangle sponge to do this because I find that if I use my Real Techniques sponge, I can't really control where I place this. Because this isn't full coverage, like, in the slightest. This is good medium coverage, like, good medium coverage. But it does enough because my foundation is pretty full coverage that I don't have to use a corrector on my beard or anything. So that is all blended out. So now what I'm going to do it's my concealer. So now for concealer, I use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in 15 Fair. I just go under my eyes. I don't go too close to my eyes because if I do, my eyes tend to water and ruin my eye makeup that I'm going to spend so long working on. And I just put this under my eyes like this, on my nose, blemishes, and if there's any redness, like anywhere where I just put the stick foundation, put some concealer on. Then I use my Real Technique sponge, and I've already dampened this with cold water. And now I'm just going to blend this concealer out. So now I'm just going to use my favorite foundation. I actually have a color change. The last video, I think I used Creamy Natural, but now I use Fair Beige and the Jordana Complete Cover 2-in-1 Concealer and Foundation because this matches me a whole lot better, even though it looks like really yellow. I have yellow undertones in my skin, so it matches me a whole lot better than the other one that I was using, which was more orange-based. So I just put some on the back of my hand, and I'm taking this um, Royal and Lang Nickel Foundation brush, and I'm just gonna be more or less just placing it, not necessarily blending it out. I'm just placing it down. This is how I get the full, the maximum amount of coverage out of this foundation, is if I place it and I don't necessarily go right in and start blending it out. And then I go down my neck. And you know what, your neck, my neck doesn't need a lot of coverage because I just went and put, um, the e.l.f. foundation on it. So I'm gonna go ahead with my Real Technique sponge and just blend this out. And of course, I go over my eyes with the foundation as well and the concealer. Then I'm just blending down my neck, making sure that I get all of that blended out because we don't wanna look unblended. So I think it looks, it looks pretty good to me. I'm using my Cody Airspun powder. And I do this in Honey Beige. Because I prefer, I prefer a powder that has pigment to it, a little bit at least, as opposed to just flat, translucent powder. I just go about setting my face. I'm taking my e.l.f. powder brush and some more powder, and I'm just making sure that whole amount of foundation is set. And I'm also moving any extra powder. So now what we're going to go ahead and do is contour. For that, I use this Rimmel sun shimmer bronzer that I've had for literally almost like five years. <laughs> I'm using my Sonia Kashuk. I guess this is a contour brush. I don't know. I've had it forever. This is what I use to contour. Probably not the right brush, but whatever. I 
focus most of the color back here and then blend it outwards towards my mouth like that. Now we're gonna go in and do our temples and our hairlines. And then what I do is just connect this to our cheekbone jawline. Then our nose, I just squish the brush like this to get it flatter and I just go in there. Do the nose. And under my lip. Okay. So now this is looking hella harsh, so I just take my powder brush, just go and I just blend it out. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna bake. I used to never do this. So the way I do it is I use a pressed powder foundation. This is the LA Girl Pro Face Powder in the color Classic Ivory. So I use this and just like a square sponge. Swirl it around. And I go under my eyes, under the side of my nose. Connect it like that. My upper lip. And I go down the center of my nose like that. and then on my chin. So now we're gonna do our eyes. I've zoomed you guys in so that we can do our eyes. And so the color that I wanna do today is red. So what I'm gonna use is the Wet n Wild Velour Vincent palette. You can't get this anymore, but uh, it's just a trio. All you need is just a shimmery burgundy or dark red. And so what I'm taking is the Sephora Smudger Brush with that red shade. Hi, voiceover gem here. So I didn't really explain this all that well. What I'm using is the Wet n Wild Limited Edition Velour Vixen Palette. You don't need that specific palette, you just need a shimmery burgundy, and I'm just using the Sephora eyeliner smudge brush to guide in my crease and my winged liner. Basically what it's going to look like. So what I'm gonna take, I'm going to take a MAC so, wow, I am shit at explaining things. I'm basically just using a MAC blending brush and that same red color we were using before and laying down a nice even base of color all along our new crease. Another MAC brush, it's meant for like more color packing in the color. And I'm just gonna start diffusing that crease line with more shadow. And I'm just gonna take some more color on the MAC blending brush. I'm just going to pack or blend that out more. So what I'm doing here is I'm just taking the bright red from the Wet n Wild Limited Edition uh, Temporary Solutions palette and just focusing that on the inner part of my crease. Any bright red shadow will work for this. It doesn't necessarily have to be the one that I am using right here. Just taking some more of that deep shimmery burgundy, I'm just going to blend that in. Okay, so now I'm just taking a light colored eyeshadow that's pretty close to my skin tone and I'm just applying that under my brow bone to give myself a brow bone highlight. My camera didn't record this, but what I'm using to cut my crease is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit in medium, the yellow shade on the top row. And now what we're gonna do is we are going to add some color onto our new lids. So for that I'm using the Wet Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Bar in gold. And just a regular like flat tip brush. I'm just gonna go in with this and just put it on I'm just gonna take this on like a clean blending brush just so I can get it right into the center of or the inner corner of my eye. And now what we're gonna do is eyeliner. So I'm just using the L'Oreal Infallible Super Slim Liner Marker. I cover my entire eyelid with this liner. So I draw the wing first. And I draw a line like that, so that way I know how much room I have for my liner. Follow my socket line with my eyes open. See, so now I have like a very rough guide of where my eyeliner needs to go. So then I can just round that out, like so. 
and I'm just gonna fill it in. Now we just need to do our inner corner. So what I do is I draw a line down where my, you can see it connects to my upper lash line, it just goes down. And then what I'm going to do is literally connect those lines and then just fill it in. So now our eyeliner is pretty much done. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye and then we'll reconvene. So now I have both eyes pretty much done. We just have a few more finishing touches to do and then we can wipe off our bake and finish our eyes. So I'm taking that same uh, smudger brush that we used before to map everything out and I'm taking the trio, the Velour Vixen Trio, and I'm just going to go in to this darkest shade right here on the bottom. This is what we're going to use to define our crease. And so what I'm just doing with this is I am just going right on our crease line and just applying dark dark color and then I'm just wiping the excess off on my wrist and then I'm just going to diffuse this color upwards like so you can already tell the difference between this one and this one this one looks more defined than this one so now that's good to go so now we can wipe off our bake it's brushed off my bake so now what we're going to do is finish up our under eyes and then we're going to go and finish up the rest of the face so what I'm going to do is take whatever is left on the brush that we use for this red shadow. And I'm just gonna blend that under my eyes. Then we're going to be taking the MAC blending brush and the palette. And we're going to go into the red, red shade. Smudge this under our well, smudge, but blend this under our eyes. To finish off our under eyes, we're gonna go in with the darkest shade and a pencil brush. Just digging into that. We're just going to smoke this out. So before we do mascara lashes, we're gonna do brows because that's just what I feel like doing. For my brows, this is the Sephora Gem and Holograms palette. And this brown shade down here in the corner. That's what I use. And then I'm just going to be using the Sony Kashuk angled eyeliner brush for this. Okay, so all I'm doing is using the Sony Kashuk angled eyeliner brush and that brown shadow just to map out where I want my brows. And then I'm just using that same shadow on the brush to roughly fill them in and blend out all those lines. And then I'm taking the Sephora angled eyeliner brush and I'm just using that same eyeshadow just to feather them out and fill the rest of them in. And of course I'm just doing the same steps on the other eye to achieve a brow that is similar, but obviously it's never going to be the same. mascara I use is the Maybelline Great Lash. I have this one which is the Lots of Lashes and then I have this one which is the um, original Biggest Black formula. So I just put the mascara on right and then I go in with this Lots of Lashes mascara. Just because the brush is smaller I can get closer to my eyes. I also prefer this one for my lower lashes because again, the brush is smaller. Then we just need to finish up our inner corner point on our eyeliner. So I take my liquid eyeliner and I literally just connect it. Like that. Then we can take our pencil brush with just a loop and just blend this. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do our false 
lashes. So I'm just taking what's, I need to get more glue, but this is just the Duo Clear Glue. I hate this stuff, but squirting it onto the lid of my air spun powder. I'm gonna use these lashes. These are five pairs of lashes that I built myself. So we're gonna be using those today. If you'd like to see how I use multiple pairs of lashes to make one giant eyelash, uh, let me know, I'll make a tutorial. So I'm just taking like the back end of like a, of a brush with some of the glue. While it's drying, we're gonna do blush. So I'm using the e.l.f. blush quad in deep, and we're gonna go into this one right here. This is my favorite blush out of this palette, but I love all of them. But I'm just gonna go in and kinda, you know, just apply blush right up, blending it into our contour. I like to blend it into the contour. And then I'm gonna take some of this in my temple contour. And then we're gonna take a little bit, and this is something that I love to do, I like to put it right on the tip of my nose. See, it just makes it a little rosy. Very pretty. For visual interest, I'm taking the very last shade and just a little bit on my brush, and I'm just applying that into the deepest part of the contour blending everything together because that's what we do and then I'm taking my powder brush and just running it over just to make sure that that's all nice and blended. All right and now for highlights. So I'm going to be using the Wet Wild Highlighting Gold Bar like I did on my eyes and I'm just going to be using a flat paddle foundation brush. I don't know I really like using a flat foundation brush as you know like instead of using a um like a fan brush or like a fluffy brush because to me it, it gives more pigments because I don't usually highlight but when I do I want a lot on so we're just gonna grab them like one would usually do if they're highlighting and then we're just gonna you know forehead tip of our nose and cupid's bow before this dries and we miss our chance we're just gonna lips. What are we gonna do for lips? Okay, so I'm gonna use the Milani Amore Matte Lip Cream in the color 19 Covet. And we're just gonna, this stuff smells like cupcakes. <laughs> we're just gonna do our lips. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial. I plan on making more, so look out for more content. Uh, definitely, definitely, definitely subscribe if you haven't already. We'd love to have you here. And as always, be bold, be beautiful, be truly, 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 truly outrageous, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!